Good evening. I uh, appreciate each of you coming back out tonight. I hope you had a good afternoon. Uh, uh, just a few announcements tonight. Uh, uh, don't forget about uh, Christmas play. Continue to pray for that. Uh, the kids and everything that take part in that. It's Mabel. And uh, we also uh, uh, want to remind you about the boxes uh, out in the foyer for the Crown Health. Uh, if you can... Uh, Bring back, bring by some things, put in the boxes and stuff. They'd love to uh, have those. Um, and uh, also, just remember the uh, prayer list. I know we was talking this morning; it's it's growing. A uh, few deaths and um, people in the hospital and uh, and uh, assisted living that type of thing. So remember that. Uh, does anybody else have a prayer request or anything tonight? Anybody have a praise report? We've had angel changes on there for several weeks. The other day, we yes. keep doing, we keep doing better. Good. We're good. So Continue. Prayer is working. Okay. She understands things. Right. Y'all remember that. Continue to pray for her. Someone else? Well, I will tell you that it's glad to be here tonight. Um, me and my wife were fixing to leave the house, turned the lamp on, it caught on fire. And about two minutes, if, it, if we'd wait about two minutes, I'd probably go back home to nothing. So uh, I want to thank the Lord Amen. for watching out over me. It's the little things. Amen. It's the little things. Right. It ain't always that big thing. It's the little things. I want to give him praise tonight. Uh, all of us are safe as far as I know. Doing good. But... Uh, I just appreciate the Lord tonight. Amen. So thank you for that. Uh, there's nothing else. Uh, come around, young men, and we'll take up the evening tithes and offerings.
that song going home. Uh, you know, years ago when I was a kid, I remember traveling somewhere and uh, you know, you'd be gone for a long time and uh, you'd fall asleep in the back seat of the car. And, you know, when you got where you were going, your dad would come and scoop you up and carry you in the house and put you to bed. And, you know, that's what the Lord, he's, uh, he's carrying us through. You know, one day he's going to take us and 
his loving arms and uh, carry us on home. So uh, everybody stand if you would. Just fellowship for just a moment. Good evening again. I appreciate, uh, as I said earlier, appreciate all of you being back out tonight. I uh, forgot to mention a while ago, my wife, if uh, you smell a little smoke on us, it wasn't because we ate smoked chicken or barbecue today, okay? Uh, she, she's really worried about that, so don't pay too much attention, but uh, I, I just want to thank the Lord. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, it literally... Uh, she turned it on, you know, we usually leave a lamp on, and uh, it smoked, and I turned it one more time, and it blazed up. I had to carry it to the sink, train shirts, whatever, but anyway, you know, the Lord just does things. I mean, I, I understand, you know, you say, well, that's nothing to it. Well, there, it isn't, really, because, but, but it is. You know, two minutes later, I would have got a call and told me to turn around at Hammondville, Come back to the house because you ain't going to have one when you get there. Uh, it's, it don't take long. So, uh, But I just want to thank the Lord tonight. I, I, there's a sweet spirit here tonight. I don't know if it's me or if it's you or if you felt it, but the songs tonight, mm, it ain't long. We get to go home. And I, and it, and I, I, I like that. I like that tonight. I, um, and I just want to thank the Lord for allowing it to be here, allowing me to be here, rather, and... Uh, uh, just feeling that spirit, the Holy Spirit tonight. Um, and so, um, I, I have something on my mind tonight. You can turn to Malachi chapter uh, 3. There's just one verse I want to read. We might flip around a little bit tonight. Uh, try not to do that too much to you. Uh, uh, but I, I, I was uh, at home today and I looked out my back window, which is pretty normal for me. Uh, and uh, we were actually talking about this uh, coming down uh, uh, for church this morning. Uh, we're workouts on the mountain and everything. The, the colors, and you guys that probably live up on Lookout or Sand Mountain, wherever, the colors are really changing. And they're just really starting to at my house, I mean, in the valley and stuff. But I, what got on my mind is things change all the time. But I serve a God that doesn't change. And I'm thankful for that tonight. I want to read one verse of scripture in chapter 3 of Malachi, verse 6. And uh, let the Lord uh, uh, use me for a little while. We'll uh, say this verse and uh, uh, go to the Lord in prayer. But uh, in verse 6 it says, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Let's pray. Our dear, most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for everything you've already done in the service tonight. Thank you, for most of all, for allowing us to come back in your house. Thank you for the Holy Spirit tonight, Lord, and filling it. Thank you for the music. We pray, God, tonight as we look at your word that you would just continue to use the Holy Spirit, Lord, to minister to our hearts. Help us to go away and just uh, a greater love for you, Lord, and a deeper love for you. And just thank you, Lord, for loving us. And we just give you praise and glory tonight. Just ask all these things in your precious name, Jesus. Amen. So I want to preach to you tonight about that the Lord doesn't change any. I mean, He doesn't change not. He doesn't say, uh, you know. And I, I really want to talk to you some about some different things. Uh, 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 maybe, uh, as I said, I won't try to keep you too long or anything like that. But uh, um, 
There, there's a scripture in Psalms 102, a few verses here, and uh, it's not known who it's uh, really written by, but I want to read probably the first five verses of that tonight, and uh, we'll get started. It goes along with what I uh, w- was reading about the Lord not changing. God doesn't change. Uh, he's the same yesterday as today and tomorrow. He, he's forevermore the same. And uh, I, uh, that, that is something that's encouraging to you and I. Uh, if you'll think about it here in a moment, and we'll, we'll look at this. But this uh, uh, gentleman that wrote this uh, 102, he says, Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let me cry. Let my cry come unto thee. Hide not thy face from me in the day when I am in trouble. Incline thy ear unto me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned as a heart. My heart is smitten and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. By reason of the voice of my groanings, my bones cleave to my skin. And what I I thought about this, you know, there's there's changes. I used to not be Uh, gray-headed. I used to not be quite as big. Uh, uh, we get older is what I'm saying. There's things that change every day. I looked out my window and the c- color of the trees, the leaves are changing pretty soon. Some of them have done started turning loose and falling off. They're going through the process of change. It's, uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, they're going through, uh, they're dying. And that part of that tree's dying. Uh, they'll get new birth if uh, the Lord doesn't hesitate to come or if, if he does hesitate to come and not come until the spring, I'll see new, new leaves come on those trees. If not, then the Lord will come and get us and carry us home. But uh, uh, we change. Sometimes, you know, I, you change your mind. Uh, you, you, you might decide what you want to do this evening, and you may change your mind. But my God doesn't change. Uh, he, he is unchangeable, and, and, and that's a good thing for you and I because you and I have an ability to go to the Lord Jesus Christ and, and, and through Him speak to God the Father because He's our high priest. I can present my case before Him, I, my prayers, what's on my heart. And you know, uh, I, I'm really, uh, I, I know you don't probably don't think this, but I'm really backwards. I mean backwards. Uh, 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 but uh, say me and Robert, if we become real good friends and I could trust him and never worry about anything, I could confide in him. I could tell him some things. I could count on him, trust him, love him, understand that he was, uh, wasn't going to go around talking about things and everything. But we are so as human beings that that might not be always said, you know, about everybody. I'll say it like that. Uh, 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 but God is like that. He, he is unchangeable. So I can confide in Him. I can talk to Him. I can tell Him what's on my heart. I can tell Him things that I can't tell my wife. I can tell Him things that I can't tell my co-workers. Uh, uh, he knows what's on my heart and my mind, and I can give that to Him. Uh, I can trust Him. Uh, he can, he's not going to talk about it. He's not going to change and, 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 and go to one side or the other. He's unchangeable. Uh, uh, he, he, he is a God that loves me. See, he, we talked about that son this morning or refer back. He loved me before he formed the earth. Do you understand that? He loved you in an unconditional love that we are still trying to, or this old boy is still trying to understand and comprehend because in this world, we can't understand how much God does love us. Uh, you so uh, uh, he gave his only son. I understand that. But uh, uh, and, and there's no greater love, uh, Christ said, than a man lay down his life for his brother and sister and stuff. And, and that's what Christ did. But to c- comprehend that and to understand that is mind-boggling. I mean, uh, uh, maybe Sunday school, I can't remember, but somebody said this morning, you know, we attempt to love God but the more that we love him, then there's parts of us that we understand ourselves and said, yeah, I, there's parts of me that doesn't relinquish and allow that love and, and just completely love him. I love him. Uh, I, I, I was sitting there on the beach tonight while they were singing and just telling the Lord I loved him. And I mean it. I understand. you got to understand that. It's not to say that we don't love him. I, I thank you for salvation. I get to spend eternity with him. And with family and friends, uh, uh, church members, you know, and people who done gone on, you get all that benefit. But 
in a way, God is even bigger than that. He loves us that much. And, but he changes not. And, and that's something that you and I can count on. We can look to him and, and understand. Now you say, well, in the Old Testament, maybe the, the Jewish uh, people say, well, he probably changed. They were scared to approach him maybe. No. He was that way beforehand. He didn't change and say, well, uh, you know, we're going to give the Ten Commandments now and I'm going to change the way I'm going to do things a little bit. No. He's a holy God. Uh, uh, the changing part is mine and your problem. See, he's the same uh, yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's constant. Uh, uh, if he wasn't, uh, if he was changeable and was able to change, then he wouldn't be a holy God. And he wouldn't be God. Because the part, the part of that is, is what I mean is, uh, uh, he is sure he can never get any better than he is because he's holy. He can't get any worse than what he is because if you find one part of him that's not, then he's not God. And he changes just like you and I do. So that is something firm that we can rest ourselves upon is that God is unchangeable. Uh, he is sure of everything. Uh, uh, but it's just not God himself. It's his word. His word changes not. It's the same. Uh, he, is, he has held to his word. He promised Abraham by, because of no greater he swore by himself and held his hand up before all, everything that was in creation, uh, his, his son and the Holy Spirit, and held his hand up and said, I swear by no greater than what I am. I'm God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I change not. I will promise you, Abraham, if you will believe in me uh, and have faith in me, I will give you eternal life. And uh, uh, count the stars, he said. Uh, uh, these are your children. That's you and I. Uh, uh, you're included in that. So we have a God that's unchangeable. And we have the word that's unchangeable. And so that is something that gives us great hope tonight. It's great hope. See, you, uh, you and I, if things, troubles come into my life tomorrow, or if it was to happen tonight, uh, like I've spoken about, uh, it still doesn't change God. He didn't surprise him if my house is gone when I get there. Uh, he knew about it. The thing about it is, is do I and my wife and you understand that and trust him where we're at? With what? Because uh, that's so great. Uh, troubles come into your life. Good things come into your life. Whatever it may be, you've got your focus. He's the same. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We can count on him. Uh, he's going to see you through. Uh, we talked about, and I thought of this tonight, with what little bit happened at mine. Uh, Miss Di, you know, the things that was happening in the choir tonight. Uh, 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 but God doesn't know about that. The devil tries to stop anything. Do you understand that? Uh, I don't think that he's going to be your buddy. Uh, 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 you, it's nice to have friends on earth and buddies. But I can promise you, he may paint you a pretty picture, but he doesn't like me. And I'll just go ahead and say, he hates, as the old saying goes, he hates my guts. Uh, he'd like to destroy me and wipe me out quicker than anything, and I'm not the only one. Uh, he would like to uh, uh, do that to the church and to the Christian. When you stand and you say that I trust Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, the fight's on. The fight's on. You can come to church and say it, you can uh, go to Sunday school. You can stand on the front uh, uh, building down here at the courthouse. But when you start talking about Jesus, then there's going to be problems. Uh, uh, not from just the world, from him. He's got all that. But God doesn't change. Uh, he's going to see us through. And when it's all said and done and I get to heaven, and as the song sung tonight, I make it over there and get home. It's going to, uh, you know, the greatest words you'll probably hear is the same ones that uh, he talked about when some of the uh, uh, New Testament and Old Testament prophets, uh, he'll say, well done, my child. That's the greatest words. Do you understand? It's one thing for my dad or for you to say, I, and I, I appreciate every bit of it. Don't get me wrong. To hear, hear that you've done a good job. But the creator of the whole world, that everything is known, in this world, the world to come says to you, good job, 
My, 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 no wonder we'll hit our knees. I will. My, my, my. The Lord deserves all praise. I don't care where you're at. What you've got, what you don't have, you've got breath, and you've got a voice that the Lord desires and he deserves love, uh, admiration, loyalty, all these things that he deserves, but he wants to hear out of this voice a reckoning of what he's done for me. And it don't have to be long. I just have to tell you that I love him. And most of all, that Jesus Christ loves me. That's awesome. If you will just slow down in life a little bit and say, things may go wrong at work, may not be going as just right to, for things tomorrow. You, you know, that's another sign of it. We change. I get up in the morning, I might be grumpy. Uh, my wife can look at me a certain way. It's like, well, did you not sleep good? I don't know. I'm going to work. Uh, uh, and then uh, I, I might come in tomorrow evening uh, smiling ear to ear and say, well, you must have had a good day. Uh, yeah, but see how we change? God doesn't change that way. He loves me. He loved me when I was a sinner and lost. <laughs> Can you understand that? Can, uh, uh, lost and undone and ragged and uh, uh, ugly. And he still loved me. Uh, he loved me. And, and so if things come tomorrow and they're not good, you can still say, Lord, things ain't going good. But I know you knew this day. And I know most of all, you still love me. And you've got control. and You don't change. And you can handle this. That's really what it boils down to, is just trusting him. Uh, uh, we go through this life thinking that we got it by the string. <laughs> uh, the, most of the time, the kite and the string's pulling us. Uh, but the Lord, he doesn't change. And someday that old boat will come by, and it's going to call my name. It's going to call your name. But look at it this way. Thank God that Jesus sent a boat and sent his son to, for me to allow to get on. Uh, I have a better home to go to. And I pray tonight that you do. And, and, and just, just remember this this week, that he doesn't change. He's so faithful. He, if he spoke it, it's, it's, it's better than Sears and Roebuck. It's better than anything you'll ever count on in this life. It's Christ. And he said it and he'll do it. He'll fulfill it uh, tonight. <clears throat> we have to be loyal, devotion, and he wants our service. He wants us just to do the things that he asked us to do uh, tonight. So I just want to leave with you tonight that God is unchangeable. And he loves me. He loves you. There's nothing that I can do. There's nothing as bad that you think you've done or I've done that breaks that. And that's awesome. That's just awesome. And I probably will fail again tomorrow. I, I, I probably won't do something right. But God's love is still there. Amen. And he still loves me. And I'll come crawling back to him and say, forgive me. And I love you. And I just want to get that over to you tonight. Uh, uh, I don't know how you life. I don't know what's happening to you uh, once you leave this building. I don't know if your home is, is just uh, sweet and beautiful when you go in it with you and your wife and your kids and everything's just great. But I don't know. I don't know if it's, uh, 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 you don't get along with your neighbor. I ain't got a clue. But I do know this, that the Lord is faithful. And he's loyal, and he's not changing. And us have to come to him on his terms. And that's through the blood, the precious blood of Jesus Christ tonight. Uh, aren't you glad that you took a step or whatever it was that you've done to get to the altar where you had your altar at? It's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in my life is to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. And I was so lost just like the rest of the world 
that the Lord had to come looking for me. I didn't go looking for him. He come calling me, saying, I love you. You need to get saved. He's a loving God. So count on him. Count on him with all you got. If you ain't got nothing, then count on him. You'll have what you need to get to heaven. That's all that matters. The things that we have in this life are temporary. We see that. It, we just need to slow down. Whether it's the trees and the grass that we see change this time of year, uh, whether there's new birth uh, uh, in the spring, it, it, it changes. But God is faithful. He's so faithful tonight and loves us. And I just want to leave that with you tonight. I, I, I just want Robert and him to come. Uh, uh, maybe one verse of a song. I don't know uh, what's on your heart. Uh, but you can give praise to the Lord. It's just that we've got to look to Him. Our situation sometimes, I look at the things around me and the things that bother me. And that, that gets me down sometimes. But the Lord sort of gets my attention and I kept my eyes back on Him. And those big problems I thought were big, they ain't nothing. That's not nothing. Nothing that God can't handle. Nothing that God can't change. Uh, nothing that uh, is going to interfere with His love for me. Uh, and tonight, He has that love for you tonight. Why they sing.